Goes baseline, comes on the other side, had it blocked. Holiday picked it up, threw it towards the rim, and it all oh, went down. Oh, they oh, called a foul. Oh, oh, oh. They called a foul on Brunson. How fitting Holiday was called for a foul. They miss on purpose, yes. and, and the lob would be live. But and he got the first, throws it up, made them both. The Knicks get robbed in H Town by the referees. 105 to 103, man. No music, no theatrics, no theatrics, man. I, I, I'm not in the mood for this tonight. On a night like tonight, when there's no respect for the All Star point guard, no respect for the team. They're, they're playing football out here. Okay, fine. They're not going to give us calls. They're calling it light on the other end. We can't even get offensive fouls. You want to tell me that with the game on the line on an Aaron Holiday Chuck, Hail Mary Prayer Chuck, yeah, it was a little bit of contact, but that is what you're going to call to end the game? That is what you're going to call to end the game. And, and you guys know that. Watch this show. The last thing I blame in a game is referees. I hate doing it. I don't like to do that. But on a night like tonight, we we got to call him out. And I hope Tibbs gets his money's worth in a press conference. I hope Brunson gets his money's worth in the press conference because the referees tonight were absolute trash. Absolute trash. I don't want to hear the two-minute report tomorrow that's going to tell you every single thing that, that they didn't get right. I don't want to hear it. The referees were absolute trash tonight. And it cost the Knicks the game. 105-103. Knicks got robbed, man. TV franchise, Al Chitaros, KFTV post-game live. No music, no theatrics, man. We got to get down to it. Your thoughts, bro. Ed Malloy, Andy Nagy, Jason Gobble. I don't know if that's the way you should pronounce your last name, but it was a turkey call anyway, so I'm going to go that direction. I don't know how you call that call, CP. I, I don't know what that was in the world bro. has happened to the game that we love where you call that ish at the end of a game. You have Aaron Holiday contorting his body and Jalen Brunson not I, I, I don't barely grazing him midair. This game should have gone into overtime. This game was good. I don't know how you were the NBA. You allow your officials to not give you a great game to go into overtime. If I'm Adam Silver, I'm calling these guys. I'm saying, what are you doing out there? Because this is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And you want to talk about, you're not going to call the travel on Sangoon, how he's taking steps when Preston Chua stops him and you get the ball wedged up there. You want to talk about how you have Dylan Brooks lowering his shoulder into Jalen Brunson. What are What calls are we going to make tonight? What calls were going to be made tonight instead for the Houston Rockets? Bro. Because I just saw a bunch of turkeys out there calling a terrible game. And this is where I think the officials need to get get some repercussion, CP. Because they get to walk away and be like, oh, it's, it's our fault. You know, live action. We don't, you know, we, we can only do so much. No, no, no I can't, I can't, I cannot Scott deal with free. that. You got to, there has got to be some repercussion, whether it's losing games, whether it's losing cash, something. You cannot have guys making these type of calls that are just whack as all hell at the end of a game for something like my, this. My guy, Al, Al, Al Prince Sangoon, is still traveling. Where, where's he going? Is he, is he going to Paris, France, Turkey? He's still you traveling right used now. To do that, the Argentina, <laughs> the CP. Pack my man's luggage. I mean, like I said, Mac back in the chat says it's a rarity when CP blames the rap. It is, man. But, like, yo, like, watching this game – and seeing how this thing ended had me so tight, had me so vexed. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. Because all night, Bronson was hitting the deck. No calls. I seen Josh Hart get, get his headband knocked upside his head. No calls. So we say, all right, fine. Like, call it fairly on both ends then. And then you call that at the end of the game. That was trash, man. That that was oh. absolute trash. Um, How did the Knicks walk away with only twelve free throws? Twelve. Well, what and the, the, what and the Rockets, the Rockets get 30? 33. 30. 33 to twelve. How? 
How how does that happen, CP? Can, third, can someone explain that to me? How does 30, a team that 3, is clearly 12. fouling the living daylights out of another team walk away with 33? 33 how? 12. I mean, Brunson had to get, I mean, Brunson of all people. Mild man at Brunson had to get restrained after the game. Uh, uh, his father had to get restrained after the game. Tibbs had to get restrained after the game. That's how bad it was. CP, CP, tell me how the Rockets, who are 28th, they are the they lead the league. They're top three and leading the league in most fouls caused. How is this team insane? Only walk, how is the Knicks only walking away with 12? In, how? In, insane, man. Insane. Here's uh, Fred, Fred Katz's tweet. Uh, Ed Malloy, after seeing it during post-game review, the offensive player was able to return to a normal playing position on the floor. The contact which occurred after the release of the ball, therefore, is incidental and marginal to the shot attempt and should not have been called. You see how how they do this? You see how they do this? This should have been a reviewable play. And not, not because Tibbs has reviews in his pocket, because the league... Owes it to the people, to the fans, to the people who put money on this thing to review it. There should be official review. Not, not, my bad, we got it wrong after the fact when everything is stamped. Unbelievable, bro. It was so egregious, they came out right after the game to tell you how bad it was. That, that 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 they got it wrong. They didn't even wait till the morning time. But like, what does that even do? Like, to what me, does it do? Give, give, giving me a report saying, "Hey, we made a mistake," doesn't mean anything because you guys are going to make the mistake again. You guys have been so bad at officiating this season. Nah, it's been horrendous. They, so like, what what does what does this report nah. do for me? What does are you gonna are you gonna play the game again? That's not gonna happen. You're gonna play the last like you're gonna give overtime to the Knicks to go work. That's not gonna happen. So then why are we even having this report? I don't know what the rule is. Is I don't know how to make it where you can have official reviews without, like, completely slowing the game down, derailing momentum, and just making it a complete it be, cluster. You have, you have two Crunch minutes time. left in the game. It's a questionable call. Ref should be able to go, to, go check it out. Yeah, but every every time that can get crazy, though. You, you no, would literally, you would time, literally have like, a half hour... <laughs> two minutes fourth quarter you know what I'm saying it, it, it could get dicey though I'm only saying two minutes left in the fourth quarter you get a questionable call like this you should be able to go review it somehow some way you want to talk about the last minute you want to talk about like under 50 seconds under 30 seconds that you can lower it down that way but this is we're talking about a pivotal call in a game we're talking about going into overtime 